In this video, we're going to talk about the directing effects that we see in an electrophoric aromatic substitution reaction. We really have two different cases. In one case, we have an electron donating group that's attached to our aromatic system. In the other case, we have an electron withdrawing group. And if you remember, an electron donating group, we're pushing electrons into the ring. Another way to think about this is we are activating that aromatic system. In the case of the electron withdrawing group, we're pulling electrons away from the ring. If we pull that electron density away from the ring, we're deactivating or making that ring less reactive. And this is going to have an impact on the regiochemistry of our reaction. So if we look at a sample reaction, We want to be able to explain, when we have some kind of a directing group on here, why we see the regiochemistry that we do. So we have three different choices. We could add that bromine to the ortho position, the meta position, or the pair position. And what we're going to see is that groups that can be uh, directing to either the ortho and para positions, or they can be directing to the meta position. So in the next step, we're going to look at uh, an example electron donating group, and then we'll finish by looking at an example electron withdrawing group and see what the differences between those two are going to be. All right, so let's look at an example of an electron donating group. In this case, we have a methoxy group attached to our aromatic system, and we'll see what happens in a uh, EAS reaction where we're brominating our aromatic system. One of the important things we want to do is look at the electronics of our aromatic system. Now, we know that this is an electron donating group, that's activating our aromatic system. It's making it more reactive in our EAS reaction. Remember, the benzene has to act as a nucleophile in this reaction. So let's look at the different resonance structures that we can draw for our, our methoxy benzene, or anisole. If we push these electrons in, we can create a negative charge at this position. And now we can distribute or delocalize that negative charge around our aromatic system. So there's several different resonance structures that we need to consider. And we have one more where we can push it back to this position. So if you notice, we have pushed these electrons in and created a negative charge at an ortho position, a para position, and now the other ortho position. So the methoxy group is activating this ring system, but specifically, it's increasing the electron density at the ortho and para positions. So when we do this bromination, we would expect to see that bromine incorporated specifically at those two positions. And that's exactly what we see. We're going to see a mixture of bromination at that ortho position, and bromination at that pair position. So in this case, an electron donating group is going to be an example of an ortho para director. Now let's see how our situation changes when we look at an electron withdrawing group. All right, so here's an example where we have an electron withdrawing group attached to our aromatic system. We have this acetyl group that's here. We're going to do the same reaction. We're going to treat this with iron tribromide and some Br2 and see what happen happens to our, our reaction. We also want to do the same analysis that we did in the last case. We want to look at how the electronics of our ring system have changed now that we have this electron withdrawing group that's on there. Since we have an electron withdrawing group, we want to push electrons towards that group. And again, we're going to look at the different resonance structures that we can draw. So in this case, we're actually generating a carbocation, or a site of electron deficiency, on our aromatic system. And we can, again, draw several different resonance structures to move this charge, in this case the cation, around that ring system. So there's two others that we can look at. And if you notice, what we've done is we've taken electron density away from the ring to create this charge, 
But now we move this charge to three different positions. This ortho position, the pair position, and this ortho position. So similar to what we did in the electron donating group, we're changing the electron density around that specific position. So these are deactivating groups, which are taking electrons away from our ring system. Specifically, we are deactivating the ortho and pair positions. So if this is going to act as a nucleophile, the only reactive positions that we're going to see are going to be those meta positions. So if we look at the outcome of our reaction, the major product has the bromine incorporated at that meta position. So due to the electronics of the system, these are going to be classified as meta directors. So hopefully this will help you get a better understanding of the electronics and how that affects our electrophilic aromatic substitution chemistry.